The Liberty Bell in Independence Hall, Philadelphia. Silent through the years, this bell once more peals out the strokes of liberty to symbolize the day of liberation for the enslaved peoples from Independence Hall in Philadelphia. WIP brings to its listeners the seven strokes of liberty from the world-famed Liberty Bell. Well, I taught myself how to cornrow at three. At three? At three. Wow. Yeah, my mom said that. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I taught myself how to cornrow at three. And um, my first professional job where I got money, you know, I was 15. Um, but I didn't think I wanted to do hair because um, smart people don't do hair you know so um, I tried to do other things and then it just always led me back to doing hair um, once I had children it just became the sensible and the best thing for me to do since I liked it and I was good at it because I had the flexibility of making my own hours Um, I went to cosmetology school in 94, graduated in 95, and my goal was to um, work with Caucasian hair because relaxers irritated my eczema. So I worked at JCPenney Salon for about a year, and then um, I worked with theater um, in 95, 96. Um, as an assistant, and from there I started at a natural hair salon called Locks and Chips. Mm -hmm. 
So I was going through a separation and I wanted a place that was close enough and far enough. And every time I came to Philly, I just always felt comfortable. So I decided on Philly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Atlanta, um, that was co-parenting. That's another, you know, it's always about relationships. So yes. with co-parenting, I moved to Atlanta. Um, and with Atlanta, I thought that it would be the same assimilation as New York to Philly. Um, but I was naive. I mean, it's the South. It's completely different than the North. So I didn't get the same salon experience that I thought I would have. Um, so I had to create it. I started that um, speaking with different colleagues um, about there's there are no tutorials really online it's just youtubers so the youtubers you know they have only mastered their hair mm -hmm. they haven't worked with you know thousands of textures that we see every day so I wanted um, online tutorials for stylists or would-be stylists or people who want to just do it at home right and they're learning the professional way yes definitely mm -hmm. um, people always feel better after they get their hair done um, also you know I've healed a lot of scalp issues lock issues lock repair um, you know, people think of you for their best days, like weddings, and their worst days, going to funerals. So, only a healer can be in those situations. Mm -hmm. You know, I have the two locations. Um, one is in the Overbrook se section of Philadelphia. The other one's in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Um, I am a trichologist. I got certified as a trichologist. I really want to pursue more of that in 2019. Because um, I eventually want to transition from behind the chair to, you know, more trichology work. Just do it and don't think about wow. it. Now I see why you named it Lock Mama. <laughs> you are the Lock Mama.
unfolding.